Hi guys, Mr. Rough Waffles here. We are eating today because Call of Duty have given us another Black Ops 3 teaser, another one on Snapchat. I'm going to play it for you now. Imagine somewhere calm. Imagine somewhere safe. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest. What a line to end it on. So there's quite a lot to talk about here. I'm going to slow it down quite a lot so that we can actually look at all the individual frames inside the video itself. But I do want to say that the previous quotes that we've had from Dr. Salim are as follows. Listen only to the sound of my voice. Let your thoughts drift. Let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you. Imagine somewhere calm. Imagine somewhere safe. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest. So we see lots of nature shots here. As you can see, we've got like a little stream going over some rocks or something like that by the looks of things. And that's a sort of perfectly tranquil shot. But then we go to this shot of these flies. And this is a theme that the 10 second clip actually sort of replicates throughout is you'll have a, a nice peaceful shot, this nice, calm, safe looking area. And then it will cut to something that is a little bit more eerie, such as some crows or something who look like they might have some meat by them potentially or something. Not these guys, but a little bit later on in the video. Uh, so it cuts to some crows or some flies and one of them's dead or just various things like that, which are a little bit mysterious and not really... Uh, they're a little unsettling, let's put it that way. So keeping going through the nature shots now, you see this shot of the mountains and it's zooming in a little bit towards the range itself. Again, very hard to make out what's actually going on in a lot of these because the resolution is so low. I've done what I can to look for hidden text and I can't find anything so far, but keep it locked to my channel, youtube.com slash Waffles, if you want to see any hidden text that we find in the future because we've found some already so far, so it's going pretty well. This looks almost like a, I don't know, I, I don't know what that is. Is that an aerial shot of like a landscape? Is that a guy with a load of blood on his face? That's the issue with a lot of these shots that we're seeing is you just need more context. You need more time. The shot is too damn fast. That could be a landscape from above with a burning building, or it could be something else entirely. It's so hard to tell. That actual last shot was a little bit out of focus too. So more shots of the forest here. We get that green shot of the forest, and then this very non-green shot of the forest. This is obviously a frozen forest, as is talked about in the audio. And then we go again to the forest here. We have those three tally marks that people have been talking about quite extensively. Then we get this light, which is interesting almost like the person's sort of snapping out of the delirium that they're in or something like that, and they're realizing they might be on an operating table or being investigated in some way or something like that, but they quickly go and drift back into their memories and in their their thoughts, as, uh, as Dr. Salim says. So a couple more shots now of like looking up through the trees and things like that, and then it gets to this shot here of the birds flying around, and that pretty much wraps the clip up. There's a little bit more, but... That pretty much wraps things up. It looks almost like there's fire on the left there. Not really sure. There's the shot of the birds I was talking about before with what could well be some meat on the floor or some weird other substance, some blood or something, who knows. But yeah, it's really hard to say what a lot of these are. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. This is actually really reminiscent of the uh, original Nachtra and Toten loading screen, in my opinion. That's just something that I thought was, uh, was an interesting similarity. But there's lots and lots of stuff in here. If you find any hidden text, then feel free to share it with everybody. If you don't find anything yourself, but you think that you have an idea of where some might be, then why not tweet me? Twitter.com slash Mr. Rufflewaffles. Been interacting with a load of you guys on Twitter and also in the comments section as well. Lots of people posting their theories and some great discussion going on. So leave a like if you've enjoyed this. Obviously, the rest of the teasers will all be posted to my channel, so don't you worry about that. And they're pretty damn high quality over here as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.